Hey y'all, uh, uh, Monday, another Monday, August 14, uh, another full day out at the old uh, China Land China shop here. Uh, cut the grass, buddy Tom came by and uh, trimmed up this, all the trees. I mean, you, I don't know, if you look at the old video, um, obviously you can see a huge difference. Um, wait till you see the, uh, the burn pile we've got going on. Let me take you around the front. Uh, he's going to take these, I want these taken down, so he's going to remove these too. He's gonna have to come back uh, to do that. We need to uh, we need to get a bunch of the the, the burn pile wood uh, that's back there now uh, burned up. And I thought I had a pretty good bonfire going back there last time, but uh, these need to come down. It's just they they're right up against the house. I just don't like it. And as as we're this close to the road, Sherry's worried about not having any privacy when she's she's gonna sit in her jammies and drink coffee on the porch. Um, we can put we can put bushes further out. I just don't want them up against the house. Um, that's it. So we got all the grass cut a lot quicker this time. Uh, I was able to do a lot of third and fourth gear cutting uh, instead of all of it the first time had to be done in first gear because the grass was so high. But it turned out pretty nice. Um, trimmed up a bunch of stuff on this this one here, and there's more to come. He. Uh, he needs help to do this. He's got to throw ropes over and tie them on and cut and then lower them down. And I was, I was busy, you know, um, tried to help him as much as I could, but I was, I was working in the shop. So trying to get things measured up and squared away. Got to get the old filter out of here as soon as we get our little wagon fixed up that we can drag behind the, uh, the lawnmower. So, uh, sawed up a bunch of this, um, lifted up a, and a tree that was on the back of the garage. Now you can see, but there's the pile, there's the pile, folks. Uh, that is a mountain of wood. A lot of apples on the ground. Um, but you can see what's going on. The water hits that pipe and and is affecting the wood on the ceiling up in there. So we need to get that out of there and patch that up down the road um, out here. It's not called tractor supply or farm and fleet. The the builders supply places out here are called lumberjack. And they have, on the front of their building, they have squares, probably four foot square, of every different color of barn barn material. So you can get whatever color you want. You can buy pieces of it and what have you. So we'll get something and, and get that fixed up. I don't know what he was thinking. You can't run, uh, you, you can't run wood burner like that. Uh, you can't seal it up because it, it's, it's going to be hot. So I don't know what he was thinking. But he trimmed all this off the off the building he was actually up there with a with a really super high powered blower and he was blowing the crap out of the gutters but he said listen i'm gonna have to come back and uh and do the rest of that um he didn't trim this one up and i think uh i think we uh, kind of decided that maybe i'd do it myself uh, the branches are really low and small and i got the electric it's a home light you plug into the wall on an extension cord I can trim this stuff off and then cut the branch myself. I'm going to get into that stuff out back there is all dead. Um, probably going to clear a bunch of that out, out too eventually and get rid of this thing. We don't have kids, so we don't need a swing set and we don't need a slide sandbox. Yeah, it's my sandbox, my ball. I might keep that just so I can continue saying that. But um, we're making progress. Um, I whacked all the weeds down with the, uh, with the old Echo and uh, cut everything out here and it, it, it turned out really nice so nice to be able to run over it and and this time not leave a bunch of uh, entrails right uh that that mulch line of mulchy stuff from cutting eight and ten inch high grass i mean it looks like it's it it, it chopped it all up pretty good so there you go that is one heck of a pile of wood right there a lot of it is ready to burn right now a lot of it is dead so there's some of it that's green you can see the stuff on the end here you see it's the, the wetness around the around the outside so we'll start we'll start in there all this stuff is just all dead branch stuff i mean it's ready to burn it's going to rain tonight it's going to rain most of the day tomorrow so when we get back out here on wednesday uh, we'll stop and pick up all of our uh, lumber we're going to need to build the mezzanine we measured everything today and got everything figured out. 
and uh, we get back out, the first thing we're going to do is light a fire and start burning stuff and work and burn and work and burn. And we need to knock that pile down about at least halfway before we start chopping these big boy here. Down. So, super happy with uh, how things are going. Um, Want to have this mezzanine up and functional by the end of this week. Um, I can at least start getting some of this stuff off the floor and get it the heck out of the way. Um, you know, stuff that we're going to keep. So, um, work in progress, man, work in progress. Uh, the pool looks good. The water is crystal clear. Uh, of course, with the rain, we're probably going to need to throw more chlorine in it, but we're going to see some 80 degree days here end of the week, I think. So, uh, yay for swimming. <laughs> so that's it y'all. Nice and peaceful and quiet out here. So you can read that sign from here past the mailbox the other side of the street. It looks like the, uh, flat globe, imagine that, and it says peace in the middle of it. That's uh, Gary and Nancy across the street. He made that for the, the church that they used to go to, so. Uh, yeah, that's it, that's it. Uh, gonna, gonna cut you off and uh, we're having a good time. Out here uh, living the life, out in China. Godspeed, God bless you all. Hang in there, we're praying for you.